Welcome to OJ Studios. I hope you enjoy Punishment by Olivia Julius. Chapter 17 Easter Prince Brittany ran over to me and hugged me as tightly as she could while also loudly explaining to me how much she had missed me at her party last night. I did my best to match her excitement and finally she let go of me. I want you there next year! Brittany exclaimed. We're going to have so much fun! Sure! I said forgetting momentarily that by the time I come back here next year I will be back to wearing boy clothes and going by Adam again. So do you like my dress? Brittany asked as she started to walk like she a was supermodel. Brittany was wearing a light green dress with transparent lace sleeves. Her dress went down a little past her knees with the skirt being puffed out by netting. She wore white tights with green heeled shoes that were a little taller than mine. She also had earrings in her ears that had little green diamond studs. Her hair was in a messy bun behind her head. You look nice! I said with a little smile. Dressed up she was even more pretty than most of the kids in my school, even Gracie. Well, you look nice too! Brittany said as she followed my lead and sat down next to me in the front row of chairs. Over the loudspeaker we could hear the call go out for the Easter Prince contest. I looked around as boys my age walked sheepishly to the stage with their parents following them. I can still remember going up there with my mom practically pushing me up those steps two years ago. The five boys stood awkwardly as they stood front and center on the stage as the mayor of the town introduced them one by one. After each boy was introduced the crowd would politely clap their hands all of them looked like they didn't want to be here. Unlike the Easter Princess contest, the Easter Prince contest wasn't that big of a deal to the boys. They didn't buy special suits for this, they didn't make sure their hair is perfect or makeup is in the wrong shade. In fact, one of the boys is currently just wearing a t-shirt that says bite me and blue jeans. I go to school with the third one. Brittany said whispering to me while pointing up to a blonde hair boy who looked just as miserable as the others. He's in my class and he's so cute, don't you agree? I nodded my head but didn't say yes. How could I tell her that I wasn't interested in boys and being too interested in girls got me stuck in a dress in the first place? When the mayor introduced the boy, I found out his name was Seth, he was my age, and he only had a father for the mayor to announce. When he was asked by the judge panel a question, he shyly answered it. I hope I get Easter Princess! Brittany said dreamily. I can have a picture with him and maybe he can say he likes me. He hasn't even won yet. I reminded her, he will. Brittany said reassuringly. Look at him he's the cutest one up there. I looked back up there out of all the boys that were up there Seth I guess looked the best. He did look a lot better than the boy who was wearing the bite me shirt who according to the mayor is two years younger than me and named Ryan. I honestly, I wouldn't mind if Brittany won Easter Princess. She did want it more than I did, and she wasn't Rhea so she would be the best to take over the role. Just if Rhea didn't win, I would be happy. I looked around for Rhea having not seen her yet. She had told her friend Emily that she had gotten her dress from a designer in New York, and I was curious to see what it looks like. Brittany elbowed me waking me up from my thoughts. The mayor was on the stage again with the judge's results. He's got this for sure! Brittany whispered. The mayor stepped to the front of the stage and waited for the audience to quiet down before he called out the runner-up. If the new Easter Prince cannot fulfill his duty, then you are to act in his place. The mayor said before calling out Mr. Alex Timberman. I looked over at Brittany who seemed to be relived that it wasn't Seth. A boy to the right of Seth stepped forward and took the Easter Prince runner up sash and put it over his head. The mayor also gave an envelope that contained a $50 gift card inside. Now for this year's Easter Prince the winner is. I swear I heard Brittany suck in the biggest breath of anticipation ever. She looked like she was about to burst if she didn't know who was going to win. Seth Evans? Brittany stood up and clapped as Seth stepped forward and accepted his Easter Prince sash and envelope containing a $100 gift card. I can't wait to win Easter Princess now! Brittany squealed with excitement. Of course, I don't care if you won that would be great too. But if I won then Seth might finally notice me. The boys all shuffled off to get their pictures taken on an empty set of bleachers. The mayor then announced that it was the girls' turn and the contest would start in 10 minutes. I sighed as I got up with Brittany who practically pushed me up the stairs. This is it. 
I told myself let's beat Rhea.